Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Wayne, and it's been a busy two days at Mofro's Reef. We've had some issues. This is day six of my cycle, and as you can see, if you can see them, I had to put fish in the system. I have two Antheus and a black cat basset in there. I was feeding my 100 gallon reef last night, and I was putting some uh, some Julian Sprung seaweed in there, and well, I know my, my trigger, he wasn't coming out, you know, I was like, what's kind of going on, you know, and then he kind of came out and ate some, and I seen, oh my god, one of his eyeballs was sticking out like this, he's got Popeye, so I was, I was freaking out, so the first thing I did, so I started yanking rock out of there, I have another 20 gallon uh, long that I, I filled up, put water in there, pulled a bunch of rock out to get him out, I took my, my two Antheus and my Black Cat Basset, and then I, I started acclimating them right away so I could get them in here. And then I did a water change on my, my quarantine tank, filled that back up, and uh, dropped him and a couple other fish in my quarantine tank. And I'm, I'm, I'm treating him right now. And I honestly, I hope he's gonna be okay, man. But you know, I, I kind of I kind of pushed, pushed everything probably a few more days than I wanted to before I was put fishing here. But good sign was, I, I've still, I've, never tested for ammonia. I took everybody's advice, man. It was awesome. Thank, thanks everybody for, for chiming in on my, on my last video about my cycling. The day three, your thoughts. So what I ended up doing was shutting down my skimmer, throwing some thawed mysis shrimp in here, about a quarter size, you know, about this big. Let it float around, which was, which was really cool because I got to see my faux pattern for the first time. And uh, the next day, we put fish in the system. Three. And uh, the bonus is, Last night, my diatom bloom started, so I'm pretty sure that's a good sign. I'll uh, grab the camera here in a few and, and show you exactly what's going on, and show you exactly what's going on with Leno. I, I mean, it just it just bumps me out to look at him. You know, I, I mean, I don't know when it happened. I wish I would have caught it earlier, but uh, you know, I mean, dude, I love my trigger, man. He's he's an awesome fish, so I, I hope he recovers all right. And. Uh, Anyways, it's been a busy two days, man, and uh, I'll keep you posted, all right? Well, yeah, buddy. It's pretty bad, man. It's it's probably like three, maybe four times the size of the other eye. I just feel, I'm, I, I, I'm just sick, you know? I mean, I was just jumping through hoops to try to get him in here so I could start treating him. And uh, I completely ripped apart my 100 gallon. I mean, that's the only rock. There's that one there. That one has a, a brittle starfish in it, so I didn't throw it out. This one here has three anemones in it, because my anemone, one of them just split. And they're all, all their foots are in that one hole there, so I don't know how I'm going to get them out of there. I guess I'm going to stick a pump on there and see if I can't piss them off enough to get them out. And then I just had this rock here that was just completely littered with mushrooms, so I didn't throw that one out. So what I'm using right now to treat Popeye on Leno, my trigger fish, is this Melifex. Alternative is uh, Maracin, M-A-R-A-C-Y-N. I'll give this uh, three days, and if that doesn't work, I'll do water change and jump on some of that. I'm just, oh man. His eye is just killing me. I feel so bad for the guy. Cause it's huge, man. It's just, it's gotta be painful. And like I said, my uh, my diatom bloom started. You can see the diatoms all over these rocks here, on this side here. You can see it's starting. So I'm pretty happy I'm seeing this. You know, I mean that's a that's a good sign. At least there there was a sign. We got three fish in here. We got two myantheus and my black cat basset. Everybody's looking healthy. They just came out. I put them in late last night and they came out and started swimming around today out of hiding. So it's cool to see him out and about swimming around. It's a very attractive fish. Too bad his colors aren't coming out right now, but I mean, he's he's a real deep purple. I'll make another video tomorrow, post in the update of what's going on with Leno. See how his eye's doing. Really bummed out about that. Take care. Peace.